Venezuela and Cuba in a truly heartfelt move have defended Traoré against assassination. President Traoré expressed his deep emotion and happiness to see guests arriving in Burkina Faso after the SNC events. He articulated that it was more than a pleasure to have visitors choose Burkina despite widespread misconceptions portraying it as a war-torn and desolate place. He criticized the negative portrayal, which depicts the country as dominated by violence and despair. Traoré discussed the potential isolation of African nations like Burkina Faso if they cut ties with Western powers. He argued that contrary to Western assertions of Burkina Faso's dependency, the nation has received support from countries such as Venezuela, Cuba, Iran, and Russia. These countries view Burkina Faso's distancing from the West as advantageous, though the West has not looked favorably upon these developments. The president highlighted Burkina Faso's bold geopolitical shift under his leadership since taking office in September 2022. This shift was marked notably on February 8, 2024, when he ordered the expulsion of French troops from the country. This action, he noted, was a definitive statement against neocolonialism and for greater autonomy, and it set the stage for forging new alliances, particularly with South American countries like Venezuela. The termination of the military accord with France, allowing French troops to operate in Burkina Faso, was a major step in reasserting national sovereignty and reducing foreign interference, Traoré explained. This move, which resonated with other African nations experiencing similar post-colonial dynamics, positioned him as a leader in the broader African movement towards decolonization and self-determination. Traoré acknowledged that his actions had received mixed reactions internationally, with some praising his boldness while others warned of potential consequences. He emphasized that this pivotal moment in Burkina Faso's history laid the foundation for a redefined foreign policy that focuses on establishing alliances with nations that support its vision of sovereignty and economic independence. In his view, many African nations continue to face the challenge of balancing relationships with former colonial powers while striving for genuine independence. President Traoré's decisive action to expel French troops from Burkina Faso marks a critical juncture in Africa's evolving geopolitical landscape. This bold maneuver on February 8, 2024, not only asserts Burkina Faso's sovereignty, but also signals a broader shift among African nations away from traditional, often exploitative ties with former colonial powers and towards forging more equitable and mutually beneficial partnerships. The move has profound implications, challenging the historical narrative of African dependence on Western nations. Traoré's strategy highlights a commitment to self-determination and showcases his administration's intent to redefine Burkina Faso's international relationships. This shift away from France is not an isolated incident, but part of a larger trend where African leaders are increasingly prioritizing national interests and exploring alternative alliances that promise greater respect for their sovereignty and shared developmental goals. The relationship between Burkina Faso and Venezuela exemplifies this new direction. Shortly after the expulsion of the French troops, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro reached out to Traoré, a gesture that quickly materialized into a formal alliance. By March 2024, Burkina Faso and Venezuela had signed 20 cooperation agreements spanning various sectors including aeronautics, agriculture, culture, sports, oil, education, and technology. These agreements signify a deep commitment to mutual development and are indicative of a shared vision for a future where both nations stand on more equal footing on the global stage. The support from Venezuela goes beyond mere economic collaboration. It extends into military backing, emphasizing a joint stance against imperialism. This partnership is a stark contrast to the neo-colonial relationships that African nations have historically been forced into. It's a partnership that seeks to empower Burkina Faso through knowledge transfer, shared resources, and strategic military cooperation, thus enhancing its national security and economic stability. Moreover, this alliance reflects a broader movement towards South cooperation, where developing countries support each other in achieving economic independence and political sovereignty. The agreements with Venezuela, therefore, are not just bilateral, but are seen as a template for how African nations can engage with the world on their own terms, 
prioritizing sovereignty and mutual benefit over traditional aid and exploitative economic arrangements. This pivot is not without its challenges. The geopolitical shift has stirred concerns among Western powers and within international forums where Burkina Faso's moves are seen as unsettling the status quo. However, the response within Burkina Faso and among many other African nations has been overwhelmingly positive, viewing Traoré's actions as an embodiment of a new era of African agency and as a beacon of hope for other nations seeking to escape the shadows of their colonial pasts. Traoré's expulsion of French troops and the subsequent forging of new alliances mark a pivotal moment for Burkina Faso and potentially for Africa at large. With Burkina Faso's alliances with Venezuela and other South American nations firmly established, the international ramifications are profound and multifaceted. This partnership signifies a critical pivot in Burkina Faso's foreign policy, moving away from traditional Western affiliations to engage with partners that align more closely with its anti-imperialist stance and developmental objectives. Economically, these partnerships foster opportunities across various sectors such as energy, agriculture, and education, introducing new avenues for Burkina Faso's development. Militarily, the support from countries with historical ties to Russia, like Venezuela and Cuba, could bolster Burkina Faso's defense capabilities significantly. This strategic shift is likely to influence regional dynamics within West Africa, potentially inspiring other nations to reassess their foreign alliances, which could disrupt the current power structures dominated by Western influence. Furthermore, Burkina Faso's realignment could precipitate a broader regional realignment, challenging the hegemony of former colonial powers. This movement towards a more multipolar world order might encourage the emergence of new economic and political blocs, advocating for a more balanced global power distribution and a more equitable international order. Such shifts are crucial for promoting a global environment where power and resources are shared more equitably across nations. Internationally, the growing ties between Burkina Faso and its new allies could redefine engagements within major global forums such as the United Nations and the African Union. These bodies may need to adapt to the evolving priorities of member states that prioritize sovereignty and diversified partnerships over traditional alliances. The emphasis on South-South cooperation is particularly notable as it underscores a move towards solidarity among developing nations, fostering a collective approach to overcoming common developmental challenges. This geopolitical shift could also affect global energy markets. By aligning with Venezuela, a major oil producer, Burkina Faso might gain access to crucial energy resources, thereby enhancing its energy security and reducing reliance on Western energy suppliers. This realignment could encourage other nations to diversify their energy sources and develop more resilient energy infrastructures, potentially altering global energy dynamics. The reaction of the international community, especially Western nations, to Burkina Faso's new foreign policy direction has been mixed, with some countries expressing concern through diplomatic channels and others resorting to economic sanctions. These sanctions aim to pressure Burkina Faso and its allies to revert to more traditional alignments but have instead solidified their resolve to pursue a path of self-determination and independence. Burkina Faso's new alliances are reshaping the geopolitical landscape not only within West Africa but also globally. As the country navigates this complex terrain, the implications of its decisions will resonate beyond its borders, influencing international relations, economic partnerships, and the global balance of power. This realignment highlights the dynamic nature of international politics and the continuous evolution of global alliances in the quest for sovereignty and self-determination. In a unified declaration broadcast across all three nations, the juntas of Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger announced their withdrawal from the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS. They justified their decision by alleging that ECOWAS, after nearly five decades, had strayed from its foundational principles of pan-Africanism, increasingly swayed by external influences. This move comes amid rising political tensions within the region, marked notably by a recent coup in Niger. These countries have distanced themselves from traditional European alliances, seeking instead to strengthen military ties with Russia, 
This strategic pivot was punctuated on July 2, 2024, when Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro's delegation visited Burkina Faso, reinforcing the solidarity between South America and Burkina Faso. This meeting, which saw discussions on military and economic cooperation, underscored Burkina Faso's shifting foreign policy, from Western dependence to diverse, autonomous alignments. This realignment has sparked debate within Burkina Faso and among its allies, weighing the merits of anti-imperialist alliances against the economic benefits of traditional Western ties. Despite facing sanctions from Western nations, Burkina Faso's government, under Ibrahim Traoré, has remained resolute. The support from Venezuela and other South American nations has not only counterbalanced Western pressure, but has also emboldened Burkina Faso to further pursue its new diplomatic course. ECOWAS has expressed concern over Burkina Faso's new foreign alignments, advocating for dialogue and regional unity. This reaction underscores the tension between regional stability and the sovereign rights of individual states, presenting ECOWAS with a delicate balancing act. Internationally, the United Nations has also responded, stressing the importance of peaceful conflict resolution and adherence to global norms. The support from new allies provides Burkina Faso with a cushion against external adversities. However, the nation must employ astute diplomacy and strategic foresight to maintain internal stability and respect on the global stage. The unfolding scenario will dictate the future of Burkina Faso's international relations and regional dynamics, posing significant implications for both the nation and its global partners. The alliances between Burkina Faso and South American countries like Venezuela offer Burkina Faso potential benefits from new economic and military partnerships. These alliances could lead to increased investments in key sectors, enhancing the nation's development prospects. However, aligning with anti-imperialist forces carries risks such as potential economic sanctions and diplomatic isolation from Western nations. Alternatively, Re-engaging with ECOWAS and maintaining ties with Western nations might provide Burkina Faso with immediate economic stability and access to international aid, but this could compromise its desire for greater autonomy and resistance to neo-colonial influences. President Ibrahim Traoré must carefully evaluate the benefits and risks associated with each path, weighing Burkina Faso's long-term strategic interests against immediate economic and political pressures. The decision made will significantly impact the nation's future and its position in the global arena. If President Traoré's strategy proves effective, it might inspire other African nations to pursue similar alliances and adopt more independent foreign policies, potentially leading to a broader movement toward decolonization and self-determination across the continent. Moreover, the alliances with Venezuela and other South American countries could open new economic opportunities. Joint ventures in sectors like energy, agriculture, and technology could stimulate growth and create jobs, aiding Burkina Faso's overall development. The exchange of knowledge and expertise will also be crucial in building a resilient and self-sufficient economy. On the other hand, the risks associated with these alliances, such as economic sanctions from Western nations and diplomatic isolation, could impede trade, investment, and Burkina Faso's ability to influence international policies. As Burkina Faso charts its course, it must also consider the domestic implications of its foreign policy decisions. Public opinion and support will be critical in ensuring the success of any chosen path. Engaging with civil society, building consensus, and maintaining transparency will be essential in fostering national unity and resilience. Burkina Faso stands at a crossroads, with its future direction hanging in the balance. Under President Traoré's leadership, the nation has embarked on a bold journey to reclaim its sovereignty and forge new alliances. The expulsion of French troops and the subsequent partnerships with South American countries mark a significant shift in Burkina Faso's geopolitical strategy. These alliances offer new opportunities for economic and military cooperation, but also come with potential risks and challenges. The international community's reactions, including sanctions from Western nations, underscore the high stakes involved in this strategic realignment. As Burkina Faso navigates this complex landscape, the decisions made by President Traoré and his government will determine the nation's path forward. 
Whether Burkina Faso continues to strengthen its ties with anti-imperialist forces or opts to realign with traditional Western allies, one thing is clear. The nation is on the brink of a transformative journey. The future of Burkina Faso will be shaped by its ability to balance autonomy, development, and international relations in a rapidly changing world. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a sub so more people can see this.